Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna compare the Sony Xperia XA2 and the Samsung's Galaxy S8. The S8 is definitely faster in performance. So let's see how these handsets compares to one another in other aspects. So starting off with the physical aspects, we are gonna have aluminium body on the XA2 versus glass back and aluminium frame on the Galaxy S8. The display size is gonna be 5.2 inch on the XA2 being 16 by 9 in aspect ratio versus its 5.8 inch on the Galaxy S8 being longer 18 by 9 in aspect ratio. So the S8 is gonna be more longer than the XA2 while being a bit less wider. The screen to body ratio is gonna be 75% on the XA2 versus 83% on the S8 and it's very good on both handsets according to their design. And as for the weight, the XA2 is gonna be more heavier. There are on-screen buttons on both handsets where the on-screen home button on the S8 is also a physical button under the display to add more functionality. And as for the fingerprint scanner, it's gonna be at the back of both handsets where the S8 is also coming with iris scanner. There's gonna be USB Type-C port on both handsets along with the headphone jack and at last the S8 is gonna be IP68 fully water and dust resistant versus there's no protection on the XA2. The display is IPS LCD on the XA2 versus Super AMOLED on the Galaxy S8. The screen resolution is Quad HD Plus on the S8, so 570 ppi on the handset versus Full HD Plus on the XA2, so 424 pixels per inch on the handset. The S8 is coming with always one display thanks to its OLED screen and it also supports HDR videos, while the XA2 does not have both of these features. To protect these displays, there's gonna be Gorilla Gloss 4 on the XA2 versus Gorilla Gloss 5 on the Galaxy S8. As for the performance, the XA2 has Snapdragon 630 inside versus Snapdragon 835 on the Galaxy S8 and also Exynos 8895 on the other variant. And the RAM is gonna be 4GB on the S8 versus 3GB on the XA2. So yeah, the XA2 is not gonna be as fast as the Galaxy S8. Storage is gonna be 64GB on the S8 versus 32GB on the XA2 and on both handsets it can be increased via microSD card. As for the camera, it's gonna be 23 megapixels on the XA2 with aperture f2.0 versus it's 12 megapixels on the S8 with larger aperture f1.7. So the pictures are gonna be more brighter on the S8 in low light conditions. But the sensor size is larger on the XA2 means it's gonna be good in handling noise in low light conditions. For refocusing, there's face detection on both handsets while the S8 is also gonna have the dual pixels technology for fast refocusing and better low light performance. And the handset is also gonna have OIS which is gonna help in stabilization and the XA2's camera is fixed. Both handsets can record 4K videos and the XA2 captures slow motion videos at 120fps versus the S8 captures at double to 40 frames per second. The front camera is gonna be 8 megapixels on both handsets where the aperture size is gonna be larger on the Galaxy S8. We can take portrait selfies on the Galaxy S8 while we can't do that on the XA2. But the field of view on the XA2 is super wide, it's 120 degrees which is good versus on the S8 it's gonna be 80 degrees. So wider selfies on the XA2. The battery capacity is bigger on the XA2 which is 3300 mAh versus its 3000 mAh on the Galaxy S8. We can wirelessly charge the Galaxy S8 and on the XA2 we can't do that. And as for the fast charging, there is adoptive fast charging on the Galaxy S8 versus Quick Charge 3 on the XA2. So this is it for this video guys. Let me know what do you guys think about both handsets and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.